to my show. This morning is all about bullying. Have you ever been bullied? Have you ever bullied others? Today, we'll hear the first hand story about how bullying can destroy lives. We'll be talking to Rachel, a young girl who has been bullied at a school, and Pam, Rachel's mother. We'll also be talking to Mrs. Brown, the farm teacher of the girls, and Mrs. Fairweather, the head teacher of the school. We'll also be talking to Brittany, the bully, and Carney, Brittany's number one fan. We'll also be talking to members of the bully's family. So let's get on with the show then. Please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Rachel, everybody. Rachel, please come and join us. with us. Now tell us Rachel, you've had a pretty tough time at school haven't you? How old are you? I'm 13. How long would you say the bullying's been going on for? Ever since I started doing your school. Are you able to tell us what you about what you've been, been through? It started as, as soon as I went to my new school, the name calling, being tripped up in the corridors, having my bag snatched off me in the yard. At first I thought it was just because I was new and it would stop but didn't stop, it just got worse. Did, te- did you tell the teachers what was going on, Rachel? No, I thought I would get picked on even more if I told the teachers what was going on. How did it all start? Brittany started to take the mick out of me at break time just because I can't run very well. And the others just started to join in. At first, I laughed along with them, pretending I wasn't bothered. I thought if I took the mick out of myself, it would stop, but they didn't stop. <laughs> It didn't stop at the nail Carly, no, did it, Rachel? What else have you had to put up with? I've had to give them money, sweets and other stuff to stop them from beating me up. They've made me give them my homework so they can copy off it. They've, they've pushed me around, hidden my shoes after PE and I've been thumped quite a few times. Has the bullying just taken place at school, Rachel? I don't really go out when I'm not at school, so it's not as bad. But I've had eggs thrown at my bedroom window, nasty text messages and messages on Facebook. Can you tell us what, what your parents have to say about this, Rachel? There's only me and my mum at home, and she's busy a lot of the time, so I haven't really told her much about it. She'll probably be really angry and go down to school, and that would just make things worse for me, and I don't want that. Can you tell us... Can you tell us what happened to me at all out in the open, Rachel? It just got all too much for me and I tried to kill myself. I just wanted to put a stop to it once and for all. My mum found me just in time. Thanks, Rachel. I know how difficult that must be, but by telling us your story, I know you'll be helping other young people out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Pam. Hello Pam and welcome to the show. We've heard from your very brave daughter about the events that led her trying to kill herself. It was you that found her just in time. Can you tell us how that made you feel? Yes, I thought she was just trying to have another day off school. I waited for 10 minutes and then I went upstairs to drag her out of her bedroom. And then I saw her lying in a pool of sick. She was dead to the world. I knew for a fact that she had taken an overdose cause from empty bottles on the bed. So I quickly rang 999 and thankfully they got there just in time to save her. Were you aware that something was bothering Rachel before this incident happened? No, not really. Rachel has always been quiet. She has always kept herself to herself. So you had no idea what Rachel was going through at school? No, like I said, she always kept herself to herself. She always kept in her room, so I didn't think anything was up. But if I knew what was going on, I'd have went down to that school and got it sorted out. I can't believe none of the people, teachers, knew what was going down there. Thanks, Pam. Well, what's going on at that school then? Please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Mrs Brown. The farm teacher of the girls, please put your hands together and welcome onto the show. Mrs. Brown, 
You've been for you've been the class teacher ever since Rachel started at your school. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Were you aware that that the fact that Rachel was being bullied by other pupils in your class? No, definitely not. Had I known that was the case, then I would certainly have dealt with it. Rachel has always been such a quiet girl in class. She tends to keep herself to herself and likes to go on with her work. She has never been cheeky or disruptive like the others. As I say, she just got on with whatever she was asked to do. Are you surprised that other girls in your class have made her life a misery so much that she tried to take care of her life? Rachel never said a word. There was no way of knowing. Brittany Bryan will trouble make her through and through. She is loud and likes to be the centre of attention. I suppose she could be quite intimidating to quiet pupils. I had no idea she was bullying Rachel. No idea at all. I'm so sorry that I didn't pick up on it. Thank you, Mrs. Ben. So we've heard from Rachel's form teacher. Let's see what the school has done to prevent bullying behaviour. Please welcome onto the show Mrs. Fairweather, who has been the head teacher for 15 years at school. <laughs> in your school? Most definitely. We take bullying very seriously in our school. The school has a zero tolerance policy on bullying. Could you tell us then how this incident happened then? If your school is, is so on the ball of bullying? We try our best to stamp out bullying in our school. However, we do have to rely on pupils letting us know they're being bullied. In this case, because Rachel was so quiet, we didn't pick up on the message in time. Has the school taken any action since this incident happened? The governors are reviewing their policies to stop incidents like this happening again. We reviewing policy about time or the Thank you, Mike. Reviewing policy, but obviously not effective. Ladies and gentlemen, next I'd like you to meet Brittany and Courtney. These girls were responsible for Rachel trying to take her own life. Girls, please come and join us. <laughs> for Rachel trying to kill herself. Yeah, a bit. And Courtney, what about you? Yeah. So girls, do you admit that what you and your friends did to Rachel was wrong? Yeah, I know that now. Brittany, can you explain to us what made you torment a life out of Rachel? I don't know. I guess she was just quiet. She didn't fit in. She didn't want to fit in. So is it the case that if someone in your class is a little bit different, you make their life a living hell? Is that right? Um, no, not really. Not intentionally. Just sort of got out of hand. She got out of nerves. She got away with loads just because she was disabled. It wasn't fair. If she can't do everything that we should do, she should have been sent to a special school where they all do the same. So let me get this right, Brittany. You and your friends bullied Rachel just because she has a disability? No, not just because of that. She was just so smug, just a right teacher's pet, couldn't do no wrong. It just got on my nerves when I decided to do something about it. And tell us, Benny, just exactly what you decided to do. It wasn't just me. We just wanted to take you a lesson, really. Everything just got a bit out of hand. Come on, Brittany. It's not like you to be shy. Tell us exactly what you decided to do. Took the mick out of her, pushed her around a bit, called her name, followed her home. That sort of stuff, really. And Courtney, what was your role in all of this? I don't know. We were just, I was just one of the gal. We were just having a laugh. She just made it easy for us. Now you've had time to think about it, girls. How do you think Rachel must have felt coming day after day and then having a face you and your mates? Pretty bad, I guess. Pretty bad. What made you do it, Brittany? What made you think you had the you had the right to treat Rachel the way that you did? I don't know. Guess I just did it because I knew I could. 
It felt good to be the leader of the gang. I liked it when all the others did what I told them to do. It made me feel good. It gave me a reason to come to school. Are you sorry what you did, girls? Yeah. Have you both got something you need to say to Rachel? Sorry. Brittany and Carly have apologised to Rachel, but that's not the end. I'd like you to put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Lexi, Brittany's little sister. Hello, Lexi. Welcome to the Penny Pritchard Show. Now tell us, Lexi, you're 11 years old, is that right? Yes. We've heard Brittany's side of the story, but we'd like to hear a bit about your sister. Would you describe your sister as a good sister? Yes, she's always been there for me. Mum left us when I was just four and Brittany was six, and we haven't seen her since. We live with our dad. He tries his best, but he hasn't really got over Mum leaving. I think he blames on, on us for them splitting up. He drinks a lot. In fact, he drinks most of the time. He's lost his job because of the drink and, take, and takes his anger out on me and Brittany. The bruises are always in places where they can't be seen, so nobody sees them. She had me tough. Lexi, you've both obviously had a difficult childhood. Do you think the troubles at home have caused Brittany to be aggressive at school? Maybe, I don't know. The only time Brittany seems to be happy is when she is with her mates. At home, she cries a lot of the time. For all this all happened, we were trying to save up and run away so we could go and try and, fa try and find Mum. Brittany isn't a bad person. She's always looked after me and protected me from Dad. Thank you for sharing your story with us, Lexi. I would like you to meet next is Trisha, the aunt of Brittany and Lexi. Trisha, please come and join us. Hello Trisha, you are the sister of Brittany and Lexi's father, is that right? Yes. We've heard from the girls who have had a pretty tough childhood, Trisha. Can you throw some light on this for us? Yeah, it's been tough for all of us. My brother was devastated when their mum walked out on them. He's always tried to do his best for the girls though. He's fed them, he's clothed them, and made sure they haven't gone without. He's tried to be a good dad, but it's not easy bringing up two young daughters on your own, you know. I'm sure it's not easy, but have you heard your nieces had, a, had, had a put up a lot over the years from their dad? Jack's tried his best and he's not a blame. It's their mother who walked out on them. He may have given them the odd clip, but they can be cheeky, you know, and always wanting. Wanting one thing after another. Kids these days need keeping in check. If you don't show them discipline, they go off the rails. All he has done is tried to keep them on the straight and narrow, but do they appreciate it? Not likely. Are you saying it's okay to show violence against your children, Trisha? All I'm saying is a clip around the ear hole didn't do me any harm when I was younger. Jack's tried his best and they have thrown a bat in his face. They think living with their mother would be any better than let them go and see. As we come to the end of the show, we must be clear that the bullying is wrong. We have seen and heard today how we can destroy lives. I'd like to thank Rachel. I'm Becky and I'm playing the part of Rachel. Brittany. I'm Emma and I play the part of the bully. I'm Molly and I play the part of Courtney. Lexi. I'm Natasha and I play the part of Brittany's sister. Pam. I'm Ellie and I'm playing the part of Pam, Rachel's mother. Mrs. Brown. I'm Zoe and I play the part of Rachel's form teacher. Mrs. Fairweather. I'm Jade and I play the part of the head teacher. I'm Trisha. I'm George and I play the part of Brittany and Lexi Lanty. I'm Kirsten and I'm playing the part of Penny Pritchard. 
Please give them a huge round of applause. <laughs>